now i will discuss about the fallback routes what is actually the fallback route fallback routes actually handle the requests that does not match any of the defined routes in your application it can be defined using the route fallback i am going to show you how it can be defined for example i have a route that is home route you know and i have also another route for example that is about okay so this is about instead of view i for example i am going to return something about us and here i am going to write something home page and here about page okay so what will be happen if i go to the application refresh you see that this is home page and here if i go to give about and this is about page so this is very clear to you but for example a person gives something that does not exist that means the route does not exist i am going to give here contact for example you see the page is not found 404 is showing but instead of showing the default 404 what i can do i can use a fallback here that is routes fallback so here what i can do route fallback and in the route fallback here i can give here the function the anonymous function i write here and in this function i will return something for example i have a view page that is 404 and in the views i create a 404 dot blade dot php this is a custom 404 page okay you can design this page whatever you want so here 404 page and here i can write this is a custom 404 page just to show an example i write like this 404.blade.php and i will call this view when there will be any fallback so if a person give anything which route is not defined then if you hit here you will see that this is 404 page and custom 404 page if you give anything here always this will be shown that means i create a fallback for this route so i hope you have understood how to create the custom 404 page or how to create a fallback route